What's up, y'all? This is Boxing Mind TV with another video. Um, this video is about Jerron Ennis versus Roman Villa um, and what to look for for that fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, Roman Villa was the guy that fought on the same card as Jerron Ennis in his last fight. And he fought uh, Rashidi Ellis. Um, and he was he upset it Rashidi Ellis in that fight by beating him um by decision. It was a it was a it was a good fight. It was a good back and forth fight. Um but I think Rashidi Ellis from what I remember from that fight, he gassed out a little bit. He was doing real good, gassed out. And I think Roman Villa wasn't wasn't really respecting his his power that Rashidi Ellis was displaying. It wasn't it wasn't keeping them from pressing their, uh, pressing the attack, and Roman Villa landed some punches and knocked them down. I think a couple of times in that fight, you know, and um, kind of really, you know, kind of hurt, hurt um, Rashidi Ellis in that fight, and um, and and was the, was the upset of the night, and it was crazy because during that fight, well, before that fight, and during the press conference, Rashidi Ellis was going back and forth with Jerron Ennis about them two fighting, them two clashing with each other. And it was like, kind of like talked of like where if Jerron Ennis won his next fight and Rashidi Ellis won his fight against this guy, them two could probably clash next, you know, in the next fight. But since the upset happened, now, I, crazy, you know, how crazy how things happen. Now, Roman Villa takes that spot and, and now he's clashing with Jerron Ennis. Now Jerron Ennis has a, a opportunity to show um his class, like show that he's he's a he's a step above Rashidi Ellis or any other like top contender or top prospect in in the welterweight division by seeing how he does against this guy. Cause this guy is a power puncher, he's a pressure fighter, he's gonna keep coming. If he doesn't respect your power, he's gonna try to run through you and and land his bombs and possibly hurt you and knock you down. And Try to upset you for real. So, um, I think you know I'm really excited to see how uh, we excited to see and look and and look forward to see um, if Jerron Ennis can like showcase his abilities and actually outclass this guy. Uh, you know, show him that he's not on his level at all. You know, see, especially if he can knock him out, that would be that would be some TKO, whatever hike. Wherever how it goes, you know, Dryness has been talking about um, in his last interview saying he wants to really just TKO the guy, wants to, his corner to basically stop the fight, beat him so bad that, you know, he can't, you know, he can't do nothing with him, beat him so bad, lump him up to where his corner is going to stop the fight and, and he'll win the fight that way. But he really want to showcase his ability that he's a step above everybody else. And I think Jerron Ennis has the capabilities of doing that. You know, everybody knows, most people know that Jerron Ennis is a switch hitter. And he's 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 light and fast. And he's he's really good. He has all the tools, you know what I'm saying? But everybody just want to see him step kick. Everybody wants to see him continue to step up the competition and show, you know, show what, you know, where he's at. You know what I'm saying? He wants to fight the bigger fighters. Um, of course, you know, you know, he wants to fight. Spence, he wants to fight the Crawfords, he wants to fight the Thurmans, the you guys. He wants to fight all the big names, you know what I'm saying? And this is right here, just another another showcase of him showing that he's ready for the big names. And and I think in this fight, you want to look forward to see if um if you know, I don't know if his chin gonna get tested. Look for if his chin gonna get tested, because Roman Villa is a hard puncher. You know, quote unquote hard puncher. I mean, from what he showed for Rashidi Ellis, that was my first time actually seeing Roman Villa was in that fight, and um, and he showed his ass in that fight. You know what I'm saying? So by upsetting Rashidi Ellis, uh, which was a, a pretty good a, a, a pretty good fighter. And uh, with that said, so I want to see if uh, with that fight, if he's going, if that guy's gonna be able to, you know, press, you know, boots in a certain way that he hasn't been pressed before. You know, um. And make him uncomfortable, or possibly, and possibly land a shot on Boots and see how he, how Boots handles it and comes back from it. You know what I'm saying? I think Jerron Ennis is is the favorite to win. Uh, you know, everybody believes that. You know, um, I don't think he's gonna lose, 
But I just still want to see certain things, look for, you know, see how he handles the pressure of a guy like Roman Villa coming coming straight at him and taking everything he's he's got and still coming and not and not stopping. You know what I'm saying? So I want to see if Jerron Ennis can make him make him, you know, respect his power because the guy doesn't have the best defense. So I want to see uh, if if Jerron Ennis can make him respect his power and, and possibly, you know, just dominate him, you know, you know. Make it make it seem that he shouldn't be in the ring with him, and if he can knock him out, that's that's uh icing on the cake. You know what I'm saying? Icing on the cake, and uh, actually show and show his class. You know, show him where he's at. So I think those are the things to look for, um, in this fight with um, uh, Jerron Ennis, and also you can you know not now figuring it out to the uh, today was that um. Uh, Figuring out today that was that a uh, uh, Brita Virgil Ortiz fight and Staniosis fight is canceled, um, so you know you won't be going back and forth trying to watch both of these fights at the same time. So now you could just you know focus on Duran Ennis and Roman Villa. Uh, but um, yeah, so I just want to put that in there. But you know, but I think Duran Ennis has a good shot. Uh, you know, showing you know his class and. Um, and you know, showing why he's a step above everybody else that's under him or that's trying to come up, come for for his spot, and um, and uh, we'll we'll see what happens from there. You know, I'm curious to see what he does, uh, how he sh- how he looks this fight, and um, we'll see, we'll see. You know, um, so that's all I got. Like, comment, and subscribe. It's Boxing Mind TV. Let me know what you think.